All right, folks, day three. This is the last final day. It's going to be a short day, and we got beautiful conditions. Had fog on the water this morning, but it's clearing up. It's like 31, 32 degrees, bluebird skies, zero wind. <sighs> it's been fun. It has been fun. We're going to catch them today. Got a half day here on the lake, and then we're going to go to Jewel Bait Company and uh, pick up some Virtus rods, man. I'm trying to get my whole arsenal set up to Virtus because they're really good rods. If you haven't checked them out, do yourself a favor, check them out. Jerk bait rod, spinning rod, that's what we've been catching most of our fish on is uh, actually the spinning stuff. The red diamond, blue diamond, they're all good, doesn't matter, just um, really good stuff. But look at this boat ramp. Everything's steep around here. Everything is steep around here. The water is up. Um, actually, I don't, I'm not so sure that it's up, but they are pulling a lot of the water out of the lake. We just called the dam and they're generating, they got, they got eight generators open. Yesterday it was five. So they're really sucking the water out of this lake. Um, you know, there's a lot of stain in the backs of these coves because there has been some rain, recent rain, a little bit of snow melt. So that stained water, what happens is when they start generating, start pulling water through the system, has a tendency to suck some of that stained water out of the backs of some of these pockets. So you'll see as you're going in, you'll see that that stained water slowly moving out towards the main lake um like yesterday we were in a couple different areas where it's clear you know main lake you get about halfway in some of these coves and you, you start seeing the water slowly change and then it'll stay that 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 color for a little bit and then it'll gradually change and you get all the way in the back and you got like a foot and a half two foot of visibility so it's a cool thing about bull shows typically you can find some stained water i mean you can fish like right here, 20 foot of visibility, 15, 20 foot of visibility. But then you can go in the backs of some of these coves and pockets and um, find that that dirty water if you're a shallow, dirty water fisherman. Not saying that they're gonna be back there all the time, especially in the winter, but they do move. These fish do move around a lot. That's what we've been finding is it's hard to line up. What we're doing is casting like a that tater shad. That's kind of been our go-to bait. And, and man, by the time it gets, it drops down to them, They've been moving. They're just moving. You know, it can be 30, 40 feet the other way in just five seconds. They're really moving around. The bait's kind of busted up. There's little pods. It's not like when you come down here um, late fall and, you know, it's really going on. Having to work a lot. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to go out there and keep our head down. Short day. Um, we're going to really try to try to get on a good bag. Even if we don't catch any fish, I do know one thing. We are going to have fun. Del Colvin is is great if you're gonna come to the bull shows area look him up man it's a it's a good time he will put you on some fish we caught caught a mega load of uh drums in the in the first video if you haven't seen that video check it out it's fun so thumbs up if you're preaching its content and don't forget to subscribe to the channel he's gonna dump this boat in we're gonna catch some fishies how fast my man backs his boat up i'm just gonna stand here <laughs> you know he does not mess around go faster daddy he's going slow look at that <laughs> he's going slow he must have heard me Ooh. Boo. I was just talking about how fast you back up and there you go. You know you knew what I was talking about. That Dell guy. JV scared. That Dell JV scared? <laughs> normally. Normally it's like 20 miles an hour down the boat ramp. No hands. You brought the plug in? Yeah, I think so.
there. Go down. He's right. He's look. He's coming up. He's coming up. Right there. Right there. Stop it. Pop it. He's on you. He's on you. He's on you. He's on you. Got him. He drags it too loose. Still in drum mode. Do we need a heavier one, Dale? Or... Dale. 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 Dale the funky Homo sapien. You ever listen to that band? Oh my gosh. Get the net. I'm rolling him up slow, man. I don't want to blow him up. I don't think he's that big, but. I think he's heard those quick duckies. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, chunker. Oh, yeah, that's a nice little nice chunker, one, buddy. Yeah, I'll take them all day long. Thank you. I don't know where you guys put Beauty, them. mate. There we go, folks. Things are happening quick this morning. No tater shed. Oh, you got to check these tater sheds out. There's poop I mean, on my boat. That wasn't for me. Not you. you see this? No. You suck this rod. <laughs> <laughs> nice. We're having fun out here. Tater shad. Oh. He's coming up. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. It's so fun watching them. Kentucky? This is already falling the lake, trying to get all this footage. Nice. Beauty. Belly on that yeah. guy. Freaking healthy. A little chunk. What I want you to do is let it go almost to the bottom if you can and just slowly drag it past them if you can. Now what I want you to do is slowly sweep the rods. Oh, oh, got one coming to mind. See him? Oh, get him, Gabe. Got him. Get him, buddy. Keep him moving. Drag and reel. Nice. See? Ain't that big, but I got him on the wrong Jeremy. It's a good rod. You pulled them all away, like every one of them. Sorry. Yeah, there's a lot of spots over here. It's a good one. It ain't a spot. It's a largey. There you go. Nice. Thanks. Solid fish. Thank you, Dale. You're welcome, buddy. Here you go, folks. Potato shed, large mouth. Got a spot, largey. We catch a small mouth on a drum today. It's a good fish. Oh, babe. babe. I think it was because I was cold that day. I called him. Did you call me babe? Yeah. You called me pumpkin too, so I I don't know. I don't know what's worse. I tell you one thing you do learn with fishing with Dell. How to stay on the front of the boat when it's moving and <laughs> mock me. <laughs> yeah. There's several down there. Look, yeah, I'm gonna stay up high. I don't know where I'm at, but There's me right there. I'm right in line with him. He's going down slightly. Got him. <laughs> I was just hovering at that 30 foot zone. He thumped it too. Thunk. Is that a fish? Uh uh. Tree? Giant stick. A fighting tree. A Kentucky? A little large, I think. Jumper. There's a, a Kentucky here. That's a nice Kentucky, buddy. Thanks. They're all nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Now I know what Gabe felt like on the first day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's right. Started slow and ending with a bang. Nice, man. Something about that granny knot. See those whiskers? That whisk. A lot of times, Dale will actually dip these whiskers in like chartreuse garlic dye. And red. And red too. Do one of them red. Yeah. When a crawfish get active, red. But right now it's a shad thing, so it's mainly chartreuse. <laughs> but once again, man, a little tater shad. It's the deal. It's a really cool head design too. It's got like a sickle hook. Um, we're throwing eighth ounce, a little bit lighter. We do have a heavier one, like a half. But most of these fish have been wanting like a really slow fall. Look at that. That guy must have been going really fast. <laughs> yeah. He had a seizure. That's not funny. It's kind of funny. Too. It's kind of funny. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. He's a little, little fella. Okay, why? Take it. Okay, why? There's another one down there. Ooh, he's coming after you. Somebody's about to get eight. Oh, yeah. You're, it's on. <laughs> I saw it. That was awesome. Ooh, ooh, yeah. Dude, that's a slaunch donkey. See, he took that rod from me. Good time. God, I almost caught him. 
Ooh, that's a five pounder. That's a stud. You don't even fish. I, I, what? Dude, that's oh, nice. That's a, that's a good one there. Shout out to Tater Shad. Rip them off that way. He has to buy more Tater Shad. What the heck? I got a whole bag. Are we spot locked or not? Yeah. You know, you missed that fish, Gabe. You, he said, hold the, hold my rod and then I gave you my rod and you drifted right down there on him. Well, I brought it back up to the one that came in. Uh, I didn't even know where mine was at. You had me in the... You know what I mean about that sickle hook? Yeah. It's a good fish. Good butt shot. Here you go, folks. This is Dale's fish, but I'm going to hold it up. It's a beauty one. Fish was down in like 50-something feet of water. Okay. See over there in the foreground? That's a loon. We pulled up in this little spot. There was about 10 loons. They dived. They dove down. Up. Yeah, they're popping up. So that's something you look for around here. Uh, loons. Yeah, loons are uh, they feed on bait fish. So anytime you see a loon, there's a high probability there's gonna be some bait fish in the area. Man, and that's that's been one of our kind of patterns the last couple of days is just looking for loons. And then you shut the boat down. You do a little bit of side scanning. And sometimes there's bait around. Sometimes there's not but you gotta slow down and have a look and that's what we're doing right now. It's amazing watching them on live scope too. They swim down like, didn't you say you've seen them at like 80 feet or something crazy? I got them on video at 83 feet, but I've seen them go down to 100 feet. That's, that's impressive. That's nuts, yeah. Yeah, it just shows you how strong they are to be able to swim down that. And we saw we saw one diving or coming up yesterday. It was pretty cool. We got, we got fish. We got some bait. Something going on. Yeah, there's a little bit of bait, but it's deep. There's our puff of shad. That's kind of what we've been fishing is these balls that are up higher broke off the pack and there's fish underneath them, but they're so spread out it's tough to pinpoint them or pattern them. And they've been moving so fast too. That's been part of the problem is they're not staying stationary. It's like 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 I said at the beginning of this video, you cast and by the time your bait falls they're 40 feet away. A lot of bait down there though. Yeah, let's go take let's have a look see. Take a look see real quick here. So he sees whoever's right here. There he is. You got him? <laughs> <laughs> yes sir. Okay, why? <laughs> it's fun. So what were you doing different on that one? Put it in front of the fish. Just holding it there. At least I can do a push on it, right? Yeah. Put the belly on that oh, guy. Oh, good. It's a chunky monk. Chunker. Here we go. Nice fish. Yeah. Is that one of those spotted bass? Yeah. I love you like peaches. That's Bring me coming in. Keep it in front of them. Keep it in front of them. Ooh, up, he's, up, moving up, 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 he's moving up, on up, it. He's moving on it. Shaky, shaky. Come on! Turn up on it, turn up on it, here he comes. Oh. Really? <laughs> that's what, that's happened to me like two or three times, dude. I think that was a drum, though. No way it was a drum. Drum would've ate it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Mine's down there somewhere. Many men have lost their finger to that animal. <laughs> me. Oh, he's coming over. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, oh! Oh, come on! They're everywhere. Oh, he's on you. Someone's get. It. That's him. That's him. That's him. Dang it! Ooh, yeah. Decent fish. Big Kentucky. Yeah, that's a little chunker. Is that a Kentucky? Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Chunker. Heck yeah. Fish. Work. I'm so proud of you right now. Oh, we got them all over there still. They're still there, Dave. Get in there. Damn it. Get him. There's a couple of them down there. There's two. Get him. Okay, another one. He's, he's on it. You got him. <laughs> That was awesome.
Kentucky's on gas. That was awesome. He just came roaring after that. Ooh. What we got? Mr. Kentucky. It's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, you chunky monkey. Saw oh, fish. In the net? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Good work. No love, huh? He's throwing back. Yeah, dirty. Interpreter of the law. But since I do it for a living, I figured it wasn't a bad idea to have it done anyway. Did you, know? you learn anything in captain school? Yeah. Did you? Captain school. We're out here with Captain yeah. Del Colvin. Don't call me. So midday report. No. Give us a breakdown. Yeah, no captain. Cap stuff. Captain no, Del. No, captain Del. No I'm captain. You, I'm calling you Captain. No. I can call you Captain Crunch. Cap. I'm all Cap. just crusty old guy, fishing guy. Crusty old fishing guy. Yeah. As a shit. What's going on out here at Bull Shoals though? Uh, a lot of these fish are just kind of holding in their winter pattern. Uh, we've had some shad just kind of slinky in and out throughout the creek. and Slinky. Right now it seems like uh, there's some up real high in the water column and they're just spread out everywhere so it's they're pretty vulnerable and if you can find a feeding patch underneath them you can you can catch a few but it's three key baits right now this time of year uh so this time of year it still seems like a lot of these fish are looking up you know the shad style baits It'll vary day to day on where the location of the shad are at. Some of these same shad that are in 80, 100 foot of water, so you go out in that same area and they might be in 20 foot. So if they're towards the bottom, the scuba spoons work in, uh, an ice jig will catch them. That's a good way to get it down deep. But a lot of these fish, you know, the water clarity right now, you're looking at 20 foot. So seems like the finesse here the better and we've had to go down to a smaller head just to get bit on some of those but just like this you know we've got you go find a ball of shad fish it go to the next one it doesn't it's like top. there's a couple on it you know? yeah so that's what we're doing just plinking around plinking there's around. not like a not like it was in December where it was kind of everything's moving around so every day is going to be different there you go midday report Captain Dell no Captain Dell got him okay. yeah. <laughs> probably crappy though Big crappie. I don't think that's a crappie. If it is, it's a stuff. It's coming up. He's a jumper if it's a crappie. Another KY? Yeah. Dad, back that way. No. There's a bunch of them out in the middle over there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that stud. It's a largey, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Not a spot. Good quality fish. Yeah, spot. Got a crazy color to them, you know. Yeah, kind of small mouth ish. Go, folks. That's the one right there. The eight ounce head, just fishing over a brush pile. It's another spot. These fish are beautiful. With that little rough patch on the tongue. E -e 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 -e. Good times. Oh, that one's coming up. I don't think it's me. It's me. It's you? I just realized that it was me. <laughs> that was funny. Uh oh, so frustrating. I'm right there. All the way out yonder. Oh, oh my yeah. God. I'm so proud All of right. right now. <laughs> I told you this is <laughs> No, it ain't no drum. No, that's a big fish. That's a big, he's coming up. He's getting ready to jump. This is a big it's a small mouth. Buddy. 
Good one, dude. Dude, that's, oh, a that's, that's a stud. That's a big one. That's like a three pound Kentucky. Nice, dude. Nice. We gotta get a picture of that. <laughs> Thank you. Look at the look at yeah. the belly on that guy. Oh. Holy moly. Oh. I finally took all day. <laughs> <laughs> Feels good, don't it? Here, hold that bad boy up. Got it. Good work. You got a tree? Oh, he's hooked. I <laughs> hooked him over there. And he went that way, oh. too. That's another chunk. Another here. nice spot. Oh, monkey. Nobody gets the net for Dale. Oh, monkey. Come here, monkey. Belly. Good one. They're either going to turn back around and come in or they're just going to go to the side. Right underneath the boat right there. Oh, oh I just saw them. What happened, dude? Oh, come on. Get some, baby. Get some, baby. Get some, baby. Double oh. trouble. Thank oh you. my goodness, thank you. Look at thank buddy. God. It's probably Dude, your you start snagged on his fish. <laughs> I thought I was, man. I'm like, geez, I don't It's a good one. Two small mouths. Ah, ah, ah. That's a picture. That's a picture, that's a moment. Oh. Nice. Shout out to Tater Shad. Haha, <laughs> double double. Okay. Bring your fish in. Now look at the sun. Look at the sun. Feel it. Feel it. Oh, yeah. That's it. <laughs> I have my eyes closed. <laughs> I'm just kicking back, enjoying the day. But the star of the show has been the old Tater Shad. And I'll show you what that looks like if you are interested, which I know you are. They just started carrying these at Bait Works, too. It's a really good Damiki style bait for these clear water impoundments, Table Rock, Bull Shoals Lake, Norfolk, um, even, even in Southern Illinois where I fish a lot. Some of those lakes are clear and this is something that'll work, but it's just a little shad imitator, really small. It's got, it's got this little slit, kind of like a fluke, you know, it's hollow in the, no, it's just slit. It's not hollow, but got to rig this sucker right. It has a nice, nice little subtle fall and jig head is important too. Let's see if he's got any jig heads in here. So here's a little jig head that that uh, is made for the tater shad. It's a it's got a sickle style hook. It's like a I think it's about a two odd sickle style hook, and we've been mixing it up. So the fish are out there really deep, like in that forty to sixty foot zone. We've been throwing um, like a half ounce head, but we have been finding some fish up shallow because the shad has been pushed up shallow, and it's been like this eighth ounce head, which is a lot slower fall and you don't want to be fishing under the fish so you got to throw something a little bit um, lighter and just kind of flutter it down and, and the difficult thing about this is that the fish are moving around they're really moving around so it's hard it's hard to um, get this in front of the fish's face before it moves out since it's got that slow flow did you get did you get hit um, so the shad the thing about this tater shad is it's got that it's got that same shad profile and, they, and these fish are feeding on really small shad. So I think I think a junior version of this would be probably something they could come out with as well. But right now this is this is like what a three inch Dell? 2.8. 2.8. It's 2.8, so it's that 2.8 frame. Um a couple different colors that have been working for us. This is uh I'm thinking this is kind of white trash, basically. And then I've been throwing another one that's got this one right here it's got that kind of that dark gizzard shad look with a little natural bit of shad, I think na one. yeah natural shad maybe something like that but either one of these colors has been working maybe you get into a little bit stained water you might throw this white trash a little clearer that more natural shad and that's the deal it's just traditional winter deep water fishing 
Um, key thing is finding bait. You got to find some bait. You got to find some fish that relate to the bait, and and just keep moving. So that's the that's the fishing report. Ah! <laughs> oh, you guys got them surrounded. Got them surrounded. Come All out right. with your mouth open. They are coming in. They're out 40 foot. Oh, come on. Get above them. Get above them. Oh, he's oh, on it. He's, he's on, on it. You. Somebody. That was me. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for Jonathan to set the hook. You get bit too? Get him, get him. buddy. Need get a double. Him. Nice. Man, these are fun. These are good Kentuckys. Heck yeah. Push head. I like the way in a, a limit like go. It's JB fun, man. Had. Yeah. Oh! oh. He back came down, back down, back down. He's, oh, he's coming. Oh, oh somebody got it. Somebody got it. He's on him. Yeah. Set the hook. Set the hook. <laughs> Out of the yeah, he did. That was sweet. Hey, that was sweet. It's a little one. Oh, Ram oh it's a crappie. Oh, it's a crappie. Oh, nice. Crappie, eh? Nah, I went a little bit past him. I'm going to try swimming through him. Well, someone's getting close. So it's got to be crappie. Just hang in there. Find out right there. You just went right in there. You get bumped? No. Found you all the way to the boat. There he is. Oh, look at his buddy following him 100 miles an hour. I think it's a crappie. Maybe not. Maybe not. That ain't a crappie. Is it a fish? I think so. It's a smallmouth. It's that fighting like a smallmouth. Called that. You could just tell the way he was digging. Yeah. See how fast these buddies flew out of there? <clears throat> yeah, small jaw. Feeling. Got the trifecta. You did get it. Yeah. There we go. Trifecta to wrap it up. Hey, give me a thumbs up if you appreciate the content. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. It was fun. Fun day out here in the lake. Check out Dale Colvin fishing. If you ever come down to Bull Shoals, he will. Put y'all a little bit of everything. It's fun. This guy right here is the deal though. A little tater shad. Eighth ounce head. A little slow shake. And uh, you know, we were fishing several different rods today. They're all spinning rods. This is the uh Virtus Jewel Tube Cinco in the Red Diamond series, six foot ten. It's it's working great. The finesse in the red diamond was good. And then there's a prototype rod that Hopefully soon to be released. It's a little bit longer. It's like a 7.4, more of a drop shot. But all three of those rods work. You just need a, you know, like a 6.10 to a 7-foot spinning rod. Something with a fast tip, light line, 8-pound fluorocarbon off, off braid. And just... Talk about the conditions, Dave. The conditions? Yeah. Yeah. So today, uh, like I said earlier, they're pulling, what, eight generators? Yeah. Yeah. So they're moving a lot of water through the system, which has been sucking some of this dirtier water out to the backs. Now where we're at right now, the water's, it's pretty dang clear. It's probably 10 or 12 foot of visibility. But what we've been doing is just kind of idling down these um, channel swings and just looking for bait. And uh, like right here, we're, there's a channel swing right here. We're real tight to the bank. Just put that trolling motor down, got the Devil Scope 666. And we're just looking for little balls of bait and just, you know, a lot of singles actually. Um, we can't really get bit in the bait balls today we've been kind of throwing at those fish that are sitting out off the bait balls around the bait but not necessarily in the bait and um, that seems to be the key to catching fish here in uh, february at bull shells but had a lot of fun a lot of fun until next time so it's hard to leave like it's so hard to leave and you know it's not going to be a short visit over it yeah we'll be on the road by 4 30 probably some bass picks tonight. People are gonna be wanting rump trick trips. Arkansas redfish. Yeah. I will. I didn't want to dilute the good bass pictures pictures with the drum pictures. 
That's a good idea. Yeah. That was kind of my plan. I got a, I had a plan here. You caused a tizzy too with all those big drum picks. You got, you got a bunch of guys fired up about the. I know, man. Well, These, I mean, how many, know, how many calls did you get last night? I know. Oh yeah, all those guy chirps. They were. Not <laughs> That's what was going on. <laughs> well, see, nobody wants to admit it. It's like driving a scooter. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to admit it, but everybody wants to do it. Hey, there was a couple it's people fun. that posted their drum picks. Yeah. They're trying to one-up me. Hey. It was fun. Thanks. You're welcome, guys. We really appreciate it. Yeah. Good day. Good week.